Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to show you how to fix the issue that a clone hard drive shows wrong size. We have two parts in this video. Part one: How to fix clone drive shows wrong size. Part two: How to avoid clone drive shows wrong size. When you upgrade to a larger drive by cloning the old drive, you may find the clone drive not showing full capacity. This is because when the clone drive is larger than the original drive, most of the cloning programs will leave the extra space on the clone hard drive as unallocated space, and then you will meet the issue that clone drive shows wrong capacity. But please don't worry; it is easy to fix this issue. Just keep watching. The easiest way to fix this issue is to use Windows Building Disk Management to handle unallocated space after cloning. Type Windows at R to open Runbox and input diskmgmt.msc to come to Disk Management. Now you can see your clone disk here has an unallocated space. Right-click on the partition before the unallocated space, and select Extend Volume, and follow the Extend Volume wizard to add unallocated space to this partition. Now there is no unallocated space on your clone drive. Attention, there may be a situation that you cannot extend the volume because your unallocated space is not adjacent right next to the partition. If so. You can right-click on this unallocated space and create a new simple volume. In this way, you can also make your clone hard drive showing full capacity. If you can neither use the unallocated space to extend the adjacent partition, nor create a new partition, then your clone hard drive is larger than two terabytes, and it is MBR partition style. In this case, you can't use full HDD capacity after cloning unless you convert it to GPT disk. If you want to find a safer and easier way to prevent clone a hard drive with unallocated space, you can't miss the following software. Let's take a closer look at it. The key to cloning hard drives of different size without leaving unallocated space is to choose the proper cloning software. Here is a specialized hard disk cloning software called Alme Backupper that can help you clone hard drive to a larger one without causing disk capacity loss. Just Google Alme Backupper, download and install it. Connect the target SSD to your computer and make sure it is detected. Run Alme Backupper and come to its homepage. Select Disk Clone on the Clone tab. Select the source disk and click on Next. Then, click on the larger SSD to set it as the destination disk, and click Next. In the Operation Summary page, click on Edit Partitions, and then choose from the two options below to deal with unallocated space on the clone drive. The first one is. Add unused space to all partitions. The program will automatically extend all existing partitions with unallocated space. The second one is manually adjust partition size. You can click on each partition and drag the sidebar to edit the partition size. Then check the option SSD alignment, which is important for keeping the SSD at its best performance. Then click Start Clone to execute the operation. Just wait for a while; it will be finished. In this way, a clone hard drive will not show in wrong size, no matter how larger your destination disk is. In a word, to quickly fix the issue, you can go to Disk Management to add unallocated space, or you can simply perform hard drive clone without a backupper. Which allows you to manage the partition size to suit your new hard drive. 
That's all for how to fix and avoid the clone hard drive shows wrong size problem. Hope you can get what you need after watching. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.